All right, in this problem we have a crate that is uh, positioned the way you see it here on a ledge and uh, it weighs 80 kilograms. They want us to find in part A the moment that the weight, the W, is producing around the point E, which is right here. For this we're going to use the formula for the magnitude of the moment of a force about a point, which is this. So we're going to have magnitude of the moment at around point E equals our W times the distance, which is the perpendicular distance from the point where we want to calculate the moment to the force which is right here. This is the line of action of the force. So our D will be this. So D times W. We're gonna plug in. We have the D. We can calculate it from 0.85 minus 0.6 right here times the W which is 80 kilograms times uh, 9.81 meters per second square. And the calculator, this will give us uh, the moment about this point to be 196.2 newton meters. Now, in order to see uh, which way is this, is it uh, going into the paper or coming out of the paper, we're gonna redraw it right here, and we're gonna take our D, which is our position vector, and our W. We're gonna redraw them around point E and we're gonna use our right hand rule and we can see that by turning D into W our uh, moment will be pointing into the paper so therefore it's rotating this way and then we can write our answer the moment about point E equals 196.2 Newton meters turning this way now in part B, they want us to determine the smallest force applied at point B, right here, that creates the moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense that we found at point E. Now for this, we know that the force to be minimal, it has to be perpendicular to our R vector. And to make sure that it's the opposite sense as the one that we found in part A, we need to make sure it goes this way. If we use the right hand rule, we're going to be able to see that turning our, our uh, R into the F, which we will redraw at the point that we are calculating it. So we're going to take our R and place it here next to it and with the right hand rule we can turn it towards F and we'll see that our moment is coming out of the paper now which is the opposite of what we found in part A that's exactly what we want now we're gonna use the same formula as we did in part A the moment the magnitude of the moment equals force times the perpendicular distance which uh, for us Right now, it's gonna be the moment about point E equals R times our new force, which is FB. 196.2 Newton meters, we found it in part A. We're using the same magnitude equals R, which we can find with the Pythagorean from this triangle right here, times FB. We're gonna solve for FB and this is our value. This is the magnitude of our force. Now in order to be able to write uh, its direction we're gonna use this triangle again and we're gonna use this side with this side and we're gonna plug it into an inverse tangent and we're gonna get a value of 30.47 degrees which is this angle right here, theta. 
And since this is theta, we know that this one also is theta. Now between R and F, we have 90 degrees. So by subtracting theta, 90 minus theta equals 59.5 degrees. And we can write our final value as FB equals 199.0 newtons with a direction of our angle 59.5 degrees this way.